welcome to Leadership Kitsap Alumni Spotlight, where both the host and guest are alumni of our local 10-month leadership development course. This program shines a spotlight on just one of the several hundred graduates who have given countless hours of their time and effort to make things happen through leadership. I'm your host, Misty Tobin, Class of 23, and Chief Administrative Officer at Central Kitsap Fire and Rescue. And joining me today is Greg Platts, Battalion Chief at Central Kitsap Fire and Rescue. Thank you for being here today, Greg. My pleasure. So you are a longtime Kitsap County grad. Kitsap County resident. You are a longtime Kitsap County resident and a graduating member of the class of 2006. I know it's crazy to think that it's almost been 20 years since we, I went through that program, but I moved to Kitsap County in 1996. So yeah. I've been here for a long time. So why did you decide to go through the Leadership Kitsap program? Well, when my wife and I moved to Kitsap County, um, we didn't have any children at the time. Um, we moved to Kingston, we didn't really know many people, and I kind of dove right into the community and joined uh, two different community boards, and then that grew into um, being named to the Kitsap, or the Kingston Community Council, yeah. where I was involved. And at that time, I was actually a public relations and marketing executive working for a PR firm on Bainbridge Island. And at the age of 28, I decided to make a massive career change and I became a firefighter and was hired at Central Kitsap Fire and Rescue. So fast forward about five years and I was ready to step into a position of leadership. Unfortunately, in the fire service, that's not an automatic uh, yeah. thing. You have to test, you're put on a list, and then there has to be an opening. And I had been on a list for a, number, a couple of years and there were no openings. And so I was just trying to build my professional development and my resume to be as prepared as possible when the opportunity presented itself. And I had heard about Leadership Kitsap and I decided to apply. And in conjunction with the fire department, they uh, helped sponsor me mm -hmm. and I joined the class of 2006. That's awesome. Um, and they've sponsored a few people since then because I know I went and went through the fire. Which is kind of how Leadership Kits Out works. Yeah. Right? It's always tell a friend and encourage people that you know who you think uh, would be a great fit for right. the program. And what's, what's interesting is that in my class of 2006, and one of the people on our team, our project team, uh, now also works for the department, uh, who is Ken Bagwell, our okay. district's attorney. I didn't know you two were in the same class. Yes. Same class, same project. That's interesting. So Was we he have our a connection. attorney at the time too? Uh, I don't believe so. Huh. So. And someone that works for him now is in the class of 24 oh, and really? I'm the project co-chair. So that's small county. Yes. Everybody, everybody does leadership kits up. Right. Everybody. And it worked because you got off the list. I was promoted. promoted during the time that I was in the program, okay. which was kind of a neat uh, full circle moment yeah. for me and the class um, to get promoted to lieutenant at the time. Yeah. So what's interesting is when you talk to people about their stories, everyone goes in for kind of a similar reason. It seems like there's usually a networking pull or um, a wanting to get promoted or learn some kind of supervisory skills, um, which is great. But I, I feel like when I went into the group, that was certainly one of the polls, but I learned so much more. What do you when you think back about kind of the stuff that you took away, what are some of like the standout moments? Well, you make a good point that I went into Leadership Kits out expecting to be trained as a leader. And, and I got some of that, but it was more about um, just being around other emerging and existing leaders and learning from them. So it wasn't so much direct curriculum in school as it was to uh, interacting with other people that had similar um, attributes and, and leadership skills. And that was really fun and very uh, empowering. But I went into Leadership Kits App, you know, being involved in the Kingston uh, Community Council and being on various boards and, and felt like I had a, a grasp of what the county was all about. And that was, I didn't know, I mean, I felt like I didn't know anything after I made it through the 10-month program. I mean, the yeah. county is way bigger and more complex than we think it is. I mean, Kitsap County seems like it's a little bit of a, 
small, quiet, rural county, and we all love living here, but it's, it's really involved and there's lots of different agencies and people and businesses that are all working to make this place a great place to live. And that was really powerful and inspiring to know that, yeah, this was a cool place to live and I wanted to stay. Yeah, it's kind of shocking to see like how interconnected everything is. And as you meet folks that are working in different agencies, like just how connected everyone is without realizing Right, and so and that personal connection is interesting because you identify all those connections, but what you realize is that there's a lot of different organizations, both government and non-government and for-profit organizations that are all working to make Kitsap County great, but they're not necessarily working as efficiently together as they could be. Right. And I think that Leadership Kitsap helps to bring those people together as well, as well as teach the people that are in the program where their other resources are that if they find themselves in a situation like wait a minute i met someone in leadership kitsap who's in a completely different arena than the fire service and i could call that person and say hey we need to do this project or this program and i need some help and that's building those relationships was really was really a big benefit yeah beyond just like that professional networking mm -hmm. there's a little bit of personal networking and then organizational networking that can really grow your causes. Um, one other part of Leadership Kids App that's huge is obviously the project. The public project. Yeah. Yes. So it's a small little part. Like it's not really a big thing. Right. You no, get to the huge, orientation and then deal. they tell you about your project. Yeah. It's, it's it was, huge. It was it's a little bit um, it's slightly overwhelming initially. You're you're thrust together with a group of people and then you're put into small groups and you are given a task that you have to come up with something that is impactful and potentially lasting and means something to the people that are gonna put all the time in and it works. And yeah. it did for me and I'm sure that it did for you. Um, yeah, so the project was very, very interesting. Yeah, what did your group choose? Uh, our project was called Hang On Kits Out. And it was a fall prevention program for older adults in Kitsap County. And so we just had a great team. I mean, we had, we had an attorney, we had someone from Olympic College, we had someone from Suquamish Tribe, we had the Kitsap County Public Health District, we had an independent business owner. Um, I'm sure that I'm forgetting somebody else. But it was just, we were very, we were from all sorts of areas in the county. And we used those networks to identify how we were going to find these these older adults in Kitsap County that might be at fall risk. And that was like one of the hugest challenges. We knew, I knew from my experience as a right. firefighter that, that people fall and when they fall and they have an injury, that becomes a, a big health concern. Because mm -hmm. once you've had a fall, your, your percentages for having other issues happen negatively are huge. So we developed this whole network from Meals on Wheels and Catholic Community Services and the tribe and um, the long-term care ombudsman you know, agency uh, to f identify, find these people out there like through referrals. And we built a referral list of over 70 people. And then we partnered with Lowe's and the Lowe's Heroes program okay. to Lowe's donated all the grab bars and then some of the, uh, the resources, and then through the firefighters around the county, all the different fire departments uh, contributed firefighters to help. And we went out and we did safety surveys at these houses, and then we installed grab bars in their shower and next to their toilet. And then of course, the fire department side of it, we checked smoke detectors and replaced smoke detectors. Right. And so we made an impact in, in those people's lives to help improve safety and fall prevention. Um, it was, it was a massive project that we didn't understand going into it what it was going to be, and we pulled it off. Yeah. So, and that's so awesome because when you, when you're signing up for the program and like you're getting into leadership gets up and you're thinking you're going in and you're going to learn all these things, the project is like the small part, and then once you're immersed in it, it becomes like this great thing that you network with your small team and you kind of create something that lives on in the community. Right. And they've, um, 
done this every year for every cohort and they've broken them into like smaller groups where there's I think five or six teams that are doing a project every year. I mean think Kids of the Ab impact County. that right. that's had I mean since 2006 I mean or that was my class but right. in the entire history of Leadership Kids Up that's a lot of projects and a lot of impact. Yeah. I was looking back at our materials in preparation for this interview and I was looking at our team and how it was divided up and I think about like, oh, if I wanted to create a fall prevention program as a firefighter, I could pull some people together and we could do this. And I looked at the team and like without legal and without the health district and without Olympic College and, and her marketing savvy and just just the, the people that we put together. And it was it was an incredible accomplishment. And it's fun to be a part of. Yeah. And you really get a chance to kind of hone your interests because the, your team chose fall prevention, but there's so many different arenas and areas that you can choose that like every facet of the county can be impacted depending on like what a team defines their group values as right yeah i think of just my cohort and all of the different projects that went on and what was your project ran the whole gamut we did the beyond the badge project oh, okay that, that's living on today that's living on today yeah and so tell me a little bit more about that one uh, the Beyond the Badge Project. Mm -hmm. It's um, a, it goes on midwinter break at uh, the Boys and Girls Club of the South Puget Sound. And we split it with the Kitsap County Sheriff's Office. So after school on Wednesdays, we have crews from the fire department and then um, sheriff's deputies alternating. And we go out and we spend some time with the kids. Um, we do, the sheriff's department does like fingerprinting or showing them the um, the canine unit, which is a big hit. And we try to do like drones and um, our big hit has been the rehab unit in the past because it's something they can crawl up in, hmm. uh, which is pretty fun. And then um, the kids get to play dodgeball. Yeah, there's some us, games involved, I've which heard. Which is, yeah, their favorite. I have so. some crews that really like the game time. Yeah, yeah. Sustainability is always the hard part of those projects. Right. but. Yeah, it's just cool to see the impact that they can have if they if they can live on. Very cool. Yeah. So you talked about going back in your in your notes and looking at the members of your team. Obviously, from your cohort, you still talk to Ken Bagwell because he, he works with us pretty closely. Right. Is there anybody else that you still connect with? Not anymore. For a number of years, there were a couple of people that we kept in touch um, and helped each other out with different you know, projects or programs over a couple of years after that. Um, but after 18 years, we tend to have been spread to the wind a little bit. So it would be interesting to have a reunion and have that group come together. I would like to know where they all are. So. Yeah. And I know they do alumni events. I've been to a couple over the years. Yeah. But I've never run into any of the people from my group. Right. Well, there's so. several hundred of them. Yes. So it would be interesting to see if you could get several hundred people in a room. Right. So how did Leadership Kids App prepare you to be a better leader? Well, like I said, I think I was going in hoping for a little bit more like direct schooling, which is not what the program is. It's really about being around other people with similar interests, similar motivations to be a better leader, um, and then being around some very influential people that you meet through challenge days as, as, and as part of the program. Um, like one of the people on, in my group was a, like, a commander at the sub base. Right. I mean, some really powerful, you know, people that have had a lot of leadership experience. And so I think I, what I learned there was that just building relationships and, and surrounding yourself with people that are great leaders is, is a way to help, you know, mirror and mirror behavior and learn through their example. And so that was pretty powerful. It was a benefit that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. So you're a leader at work, and I, I know you to be a leader. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. A shift all the way. Yeah, A shift. Um, so what is your philosophy on leadership? Well, I think that from a very basic standpoint, um, I like to lead by example. Uh, if I work hard, then I think I set the example that other people that work for me will work hard. Um, you know, if I, you know, believe in the service that we provide to our citizens. And, and have a, you know, a very firm belief in that we're going to provide that um, to every citizen on every call, regardless of time of day or circumstance, 
like that's an important mission to set out uh, for my shift. I'm the shift commander. You know, I oversee 33 people on a shift among, across all of our stations. And I think that really setting the mission for our firefighters and paramedics and officers is my main job as a leader in the organization. Um, you can't force leadership on people. You, you, you have it and, and you, you set the path and, and you support them in the mission. You're not, if you're, if you're pulling them, it's not the way it's supposed to work. You know, they should be passing you by. And really, a great leader is somebody that is mentoring and, and developing the people to, to take over for them. And so I think that that leadership mission uh, defining is really important and then supporting the people that work for you. Um, I work for them. I mean, that whole servant leadership, which was a tenant that came out of Leadership Kits app, right? right? Like servant leadership is a real deal. Like, not what do I need these people to do for me today? It's like, what can I do to help support them to achieve not only our team mission, but more importantly, the mission of the fire department on a daily basis? Because our people out there need us and they need us to, to do that work. Yeah, and it takes time to really hone in on what your leadership philosophy or your leadership skills are. Right, and I think that one of the interesting things about my time with Leadership Kitsap and working within that small team was that we were very different people and we were yeah. you know, put together to you know, accomplish a project and I learned a lot from that and you learn a lot about the power of diversity and that everybody brings something different to the table. And really being a great leader is identifying the values and the skills and the attributes of all the people that are on your team and setting them up to use that to their advantage and the organization's advantage. And sometimes that means going outside of what you're used to, to find that. And then when you find it and you can put that person in the right spot, it's extremely powerful and rewarding. Um, I think that you know, a really important part of being a leader at Central Kitsap Fire and Rescue for me is to really mentor the officers that are assigned to me, but also help to identify the firefighters that are gonna be the future officers and encourage them and point them in the right direction about what they need to learn, how they need to grow and develop and help them understand like, this is really the best job in the fire department is, is being that that company officer, that team leader, you're, you're on the front lines helping the citizens. Um, we always like to say, no one calls 911 when they're having a good day. Right. Right. They call 911 when they need help. And it's not our job to define whether their emergency is an emergency or not. It's their emergency and we respond. And we are problem solvers and we go and we take care of those people. And what's, what's really fun is to watch some of our brand new firefighters buy into that and then you see how they attack these problems and have developed solutions to help these people out and you're like that person's going to be a leader someday and then what can I do to support them and encourage them along that path and it's you know when we pull that all together then we're going to meet the mission of our department and we're going to make a difference in the lives of our citizens. Yeah, and that's one thing that Leadership Kids Have really focus on, focuses on is authenticity and leadership. And I think it's really interesting because I have the privilege of being able to work with you is like when you say that, and I'm sure as people are listening to this, I believe that you believe that. So when you say, I believe that this is the best job, I know that these incoming firefighters, when they're working under you, know that that's your truth and that's something that they pick up on. So I think that's really powerful um, because they believe that they now also have the best job in the world and get to aspire to make that difference. So it's just really impactful to lead with that level of authenticity. And well, that's thank not you. always easy. And I do love yeah. it. I mean, I, w I can't imagine doing anything else. And I'm glad that I had my professional experience that I had before I joined the fire service. Um, one, I think that those, that the skills I learned in that career and at the University of Washington uh, helped me be a better firefighter and future officer, but it also helps me, I have something to compare it to. Like, yeah. I know what 
my job was before and what my job is now. And this job just means the world to me. And, and I love it, and I love the people that I work with, and I love the people that we serve, and I love the fact that it's something that we all can be proud of. So. Yeah, I had to pull back a little bit because go Cougs. Oh, geez, here <laughs> I we know. go. A little bit of the banter there. That's good. Um, no, but you, you're right about, so you're, you're a battalion chief and there is this kind of officer level below you where um, it's like this mid-level leadership um, where there are in the fire service, and you're seeing this right now, and I'm sure it's happening in other professions where people are kind of making career changes right now where they've done one job for a while and I guess as a society, I would say, maybe I'm being too philosophical, um, folks are starting to make changes because they want to do things that are more meaningful. I mean... Well, we see it all the time. I think that when I joined the fire service, I was an anomaly, right? Yeah. I came from a professional world. Um, I hadn't ever lived in a fire station. I was a volunteer at North Kitsap Fire and Rescue for a couple of years as I was going through my career change, but I wasn't the traditional firefighter candidate. Uh, fast forward to 2024, and we have you know, cellular phone company technicians that are, that are switching careers. We have high-level military people that are switching careers. Uh, we have all sorts of different backgrounds that are now choosing the fire service as a way for them to earn a living and, and give back to their community in a very direct way. And I think that's, that's exactly what Leadership Kitsap is. Like, how can I join something and give back directly? And it's pretty cool. Yeah. And I think um, you mentioned d diversity earlier, like when you were in your smaller group working on your project. And as we have all of these new people coming in and with different backgrounds and different experiences, um, just circling back to leadership really quickly. It's been interesting in Leadership Kids app specifically, having those opportunities to kind of challenge my own thoughts or my own dynamics on how I think things should be or how my own leadership goes. And um, I feel like that's been kind of a critical component of Leadership Kids app. Right, and that's one of the things that's really interesting. It's like you put seven leaders on a team, like, and we all have to learn to work together, that's where you really challenge yourself. Yeah. And you figure it out and we all end up getting onto the same page and, and putting together a project that's impactful and lasting. Yeah, and you're surrounding yourself with, you said it earlier, good people, good community leaders, and I feel like at the end of the day when you have like those same values, everyone's there because they want to make a difference and they want that kind of impact. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so um, I guess we should probably wrap things up. I appreciate you taking the time it was my to talk pleasure. with us today. Um, thank you for joining us for this episode of Leadership Kids App Alumni Spotlight. If you want to become a part of a vibrant team working to build a new and continuing source of fine leaders right here in Kitsap County, reach out to us online at leadershipkitsap.org on Instagram and Facebook. For Leadership Kids App Alumni Spotlight, I'm Misty Tobin. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.